Now this here is a real barn find 47 knucklehead. We're gonna have a little up close to it. It's got this amazing light kit on the wheels. Those are stupid ass rare. Also you guys knows that these are, we usually call them uh, tail gunner lights. There's a few different names, but we'll leave that. I assume this was Johnny's bike at one time. And what's the motor number of this? 4,000 something? 4379, yep. 4379 with the mid year frame. This is the earliest one I've ever seen or heard of. Now, it's as found, other than the fact that it runs, and he's found some other bags for it. And it's an original owner bike. Just beautiful machine, original paint. Got that cool rocket tip muffler that comes out so you can have a blaster or not. Or at least it did originally. And come on over here, Billy, and tell us a story about how you found this bike. A uh, customer came into my shop, uh, said, uh, "Here you like old motorcycles," and uh, said, "Here's a guy's phone number. He's got a '48 Harley he wants to sell." So I call him and says, "Yeah, yeah you got a '48 Harley you want to sell?" "Oh no, no, no," you know. I figured, oh, okay, sorry, wrong number, and he says, it's a 47. I said, oh, okay. You know, so it took a lot of talking to get over there and look at it, but uh, when I finally got over to see it, I had to take like six or seven sheets of plywood off the shed garage it was in, and uh, we had to use a cinder block with a pickaxe to lift up on the door frame. The lock was, the building was falling over on the door, weighting it down, but um, opened it up and looked like there was a, uh, a couch in there with a cycle ray headlight sticking out of it, you know, so pull off this old blanket that was actually sticking to the bike as I pulled it off and uh, the speedometer looked black. I just wiped it and 47 only speedometer. I'm like, oh my God, you know, this can't be what it is. And, and actually the guy made me board it all back up. <laughs> that was the crazy part. And uh, um, it was probably eight months later and you know, we actually made a deal on it, which, uh, turned out pretty cool and you know, I was happy to have it. He said he had a couple other guys come over and look at it and he actually said uh, he liked me so he wanted me to have it. So the creepy thing was the, the VIN number is the last four digits of my phone number which is really weird. You know, kind of almost like meant to be. You know? Well when you when you own a motorcycle for an extreme length of time this was the original owner right? What happens is the spirit of the person is imbued into the machine itself. So all you people taking your flathead motorcycles and making it into a bi-motorcycle knucklehead, you're fucking up the spirit. That's a really bad thing. That, that, that boy's gonna come and see you when you least expect it, because that was his machine and he preserved it like that. And that's why Billy got this bike, and that's why those numbers match his phone number. That is so special. Don't ever sell this bike, Billy. How old are you, sir? 31, he's a young kid, finding an original owner, 47 knucklehead, in 2016? Uh, 15. 2015. Do you have any idea how rare that is to find something like this today? How old was he, 90 something? Yeah, I think it was, I think it was 91. Now, here's the difference between a barn find and a newspaper ad. A newspaper ad, I don't care if you bought this thing for 50 bucks, it was in the newspaper. That is not a barn find. A barn find means somebody told you, hey, call this fool. Hey, woo, you like old stuff? Come over to my house. If you didn't find it that way, pal, you didn't find a barn find. I don't care what you found or how cheap you got it, because I've gotten lots of deals out of the newspaper. That's how I make my living. It ain't a barn find. This is a barn find. This is a real barn find. It's not about patina. It's not about how cool a bike it is. It's because somebody told you and there was this crusty old thing that you went and worked for and talked to the man and got it out of him. And that is what's rare. That almost never happens. This is a really special bike because of the history, because of how it was found and the way it went down. And if those numbers don't tell you, it's like, man, I ain't got a bigger hammer to knock you up the head with. Pay attention. So there it is. Really, really special bike. Don't ever let me hear you sold this bike. I'm gonna come see you.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>